up in Seattle, Washington. This is the National Football League. Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Century Link Field here in Seattle. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Las Vegas Raiders. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Russell Wilson leads out the Seattle Seahawks offense. The veteran Wilson, a third-round pick back in 2012. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. The beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football, rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. They'll throw on first down with Wilson, buying time to his left. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Five yards, now it's third and five. To Will Disley. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy ran in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bone down. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Four yards on the Now a second down and six. At the 43-yard line. Now Wilson. Short throw to Disley, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Seven yards there at a first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Jacob Hollister, the one he was looking for. And it's second down. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 50 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Even though he was forced from the pocket, still able to adjust, make the long throw, and it ends with a really big touchdown. Yeah, moving to his left. The key to everything when they're moving outside of the pocket, doesn't matter which side, making sure those shoulders get around and you get back square so you can get everything on the throw and create the big play we just saw there downfield. Jason Myers now for the extra point. 
and this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it all culminates with a Seattle score. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. Sometimes I wonder if we're just not looking at Derek Carr and evaluating him the correct way because this guy's been incredibly reliable. Only two missed starts in six seasons with the Raiders. His completion percentage top 70% last year. The only one higher, Drew Brees in New Orleans. The problem, though, it hasn't translated into wins. They move the ball up and down the field, but they don't score enough touchdowns. Derek Carr hoping to remedy that in 2020. Give him nine there on the first down completion. It's a gain of Random nine. to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Blitz coming and down he goes. Benson Mayola, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Third and nine. Throwing his car on third down. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A pickup of 10 and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? So from the 36 now, first and 10. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And his throw is incomplete. And so he looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. To throw on third down. Carr. It's a screen to Richard. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38. Well shy of the first down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Seahawks take over first and 10. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. On first down, Wilson. 
Short throw to Dixler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more on that one, and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and Second and two. At the Raiders' 30-yard line. That's, that's got to be a long day. That's got to be a long day. 44, 44. Mike, Mike. Wilson will throw again. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carson. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. It's, a it's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That's caught by Hollister. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. First and goal at the one-yard line. To throw again is Wilson. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawks touchdown. Russell Wilson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Jalen Richard now on the return. Now a hit and a loose football. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Seahawks. Oftentimes when we talk about piling on in any subject, it's a negative. In this case, for this team, it's a real positive. Just scored. Now they go down, knock the ball free, get it back. They got a chance to really increase their lead and put themselves in the driver's seat. On the other side, a little insult added to the injury. They're in a bad spot. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. To throw is Wilson. And fights him off. And this one's incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again. Wilson. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real foot. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Credit the sack to Jonathan Hankins. There's something about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays and give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine a head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there, and that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 40. On the draw, Richard. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 42-yard line. Throwing on second and eight. Carr is going to find his running back. It's complete. Carr. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. A gain of four, and it's third down. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Aguilar has it. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. The Roughing the passer defense. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. Tyrell Williams was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. It's now second and ten. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. To throw again. Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete for Jason. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. And a loss of three to bring up four. Brings up four. Uh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Raiders, nothing. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They've been off to the races already. A 17-0 lead. Now a chance for more here as they've got it first and 10. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, the defense blitz, they got to it, but a good job. He just hung in there, took the hit, completed the long pass. Everything's not going to be perfect every time you throw the ball. You're not going to pick up every blitzer. You're not going to be untouched in the pocket. Remember the Rams of the early 2000s? Oh, yeah. They always asked their quarterback to be the last line of blitz control, which means stand in the pocket, take the hit, and deliver strikes downfield. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Fighting to stay upright. They'll run the screen with Carson. That catch good for only a couple. Complete to Chris Carson. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. And eight at the 29-yard line. 
Now it's Wilson. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Maurice Hurst gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third under pressure again, and down he goes again. The second-year man, Max Crosby, the one who brought him down. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Raider D, they get the football back. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way, depending on who converts on fourth down. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Taken down at the 41. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Trey Flowers on the stuff. Today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. Tough sledding, they lose a yard there on third. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. The Seahawks take over. So let's glance at a player spotlight now with Russell Wilson. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Perfect. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Good game by Chris Carson. Picks up a first down, and you just have to love his running style. Talk about a straight-ahead guy, no-nonsense type of a runner. He's averaged 82 yards a game over the last two seasons and had 1,230 yards on the ground in 2019. Wilson, they'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brad, I know where they're really going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 17-nothing, our score after one. With the score, Seahawks 17, Raiders nothing. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. It's complete to Lockett. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up I know we just saw a nice throwing catch. But how about the big guys up front buying that time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They go play action now, Wilson. And they've got the hookup, this is Olsen. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two.
They snap it at one. Now Wilson. And he can't quite corral it defensively. Maybe some space to go the other direction if he had caught it. That brings up fourth down now. So now fourth down looming. Remember, these guys went for it on their last drive, but it didn't work out. Yeah, even though it didn't work out, I would not be surprised at all if they went ahead and did it again. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Darn right. Tyrell Williams heading back out onto the field now. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. It's a big play there for Vegas. And even 50 yards. Las Vegas. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. This to Jacobs on the toss right. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And a short gain down to about the 33. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Raiders on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and 11. Working from the gun. It's Carr. He's got a man. It's Williams. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 12-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. A nice display of powerful running, but it takes him only to the seven. He's dropped there. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second. From the seven, it's second and five. Here's Jacobs from the gun. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run on first down. Carson, and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Tackle made at the Kyle Wilbur there to make the stop. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. On second down. It's Carson. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? 
leverage, athleticism. They created some nice space for him. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They run for it with Carson. Now Carson fumbles the football. And the Raiders pick it up. So they will set up shop excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. Well, I know he doesn't want a fumble loss by his name, but it was fourth down. I don't think he was going to get to the marker anyway. I think he just hired you as his attorney because you have just argued that this fumble is actually okay. I'm just saying not all fumbles are created equal, and they probably, the defense would have had the ball there anyway. That's okay, so, so the defense gets credit now, right? Someone yes. gets a nice little mark by their name, but it really doesn't hurt the other guy because he wasn't getting there anyway. I like that. Good job. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Jacobs and he loses the football a second time and the Seahawks have picked it up and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back coming to the line here to begin their next drive the Seahawks offense and a fumble last time ball security talk about it all the time in the National Football League they've got to be better at it on this drive don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's address? And those are so many. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Malik Collins never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. There's another example where the pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Furl, that got in there to bring him down. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory, and you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media. And trying to get it to runs, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Intercepted. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. That pass play wound up for negative yardage. So here's second and 11. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Complete here, it's high. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. 34-yard line. Now Wilson on first down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. 
I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. He'll check that down to Carson. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Seahawks on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Myers able to knock it through. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. 20, Raiders nothing. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's caught by Aguilar. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Nelson Aguilar. 47 yards. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. That is good, and that'll make it 20 to 7. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. So, not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick, but instead it falls down incomplete. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. On third down, Wilson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up four yards. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. At their own 
33 yards. Derek Carr and the Raiders set for their next possession. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He's brought down at the fourth. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Able to find Walner. That's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Complete to Darren Walner. It's a gain of 17 yards. And the Raiders. Two minutes down. remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. On first and ten, here's Carr. Give credit to K.J. Wright. He was disrupting defensively. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jalen Richard, 40 yards. And the Raiders are back within a score. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Carlson now Carlson to add the extra point. After. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28-yard line. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He lets it fly for Lockett, and that's caught inside the 30. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards to pick up there. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up From the four, it's second and a couple. The quick slant caught. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. 
They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Wilson will throw again. Being chased out left. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. The extra point now coming from Myers. And the lead is now 13. So the drive there took six plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. the kicks away here comes Richard on the return and a decent return out to the 27 yard line the Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 27 yard line The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second and seven. Shotgun now for Carr. That is caught by the rookie from Bama. It's Henry Ruggs. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot here before half for Carr. And he'll look downfield for Waller. And this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down so we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13 point game as we'll send you eastward to orlando standing by with that ea sports halftime report now is jonathan coachman take it away coach okay brandon thanks very much and welcome everyone to this abridged version of the ea sports halftime report back and forth we win in that first half this has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far so let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Now this will make it into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Call it a full three-yard 
gets in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Behind the chain, second and 13. From the gun, it's Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. The reception good for seven. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Derek, you know the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz call and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Tyler Lockett trotting onto the field, getting set for this next drive. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it in right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. To throw again on second down, Wilson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Wilson's pass. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and five. Throwing is Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Cleland Farrell picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Jalen Richard on the return. The Raiders take over first and... Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 38, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs, 62 yards. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed Carlson enough to get it done. On Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead will shrink to six. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He lets it. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Here we go. Here we go. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Tyler Lockett, 77 yards. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. 
Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own. And you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a Major League Baseball game when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, Grand Slam home run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Harris take over first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Brought down. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Second and three. They go back to the ground this time, Jacobs. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Take him down. He's just struggling to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Returnable for Lockett. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Seahawks football first and 10. At their own 41-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So that one will be accepted. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Wilson, dancing to his left. He'll try and run it. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Wilson. Flush to his right. He'll run it. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. For another Seahawks. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up, 
From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. But we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards, now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, not only was that a great play there defensively on third down, I like the execution of the scheme. Short yardage situation, but they still were able to cover him as he circled out of the backfield. Nowhere to go. They ended up swallowing up behind the line of scrimmage. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 20. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. After the interception, here's Wilson. They call it no gain there on the first down play. They caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Throw left side complete. That's Carson. He lost four there, and it's third down. Back at the 24. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. You don't see too many pass catching fullbacks nowadays, partner. In fact, you don't see too many fullbacks, period. Good news, though, he does have decent hands, and we saw it right there on display. Makes the score Seahawks 40, Raiders 21. So he's got another field goal, his fourth now in the game. He's making it look easy out there. He certainly is, and they're always aiming for a swing of the leg that repeats under pressure, right? So nothing's different. He's got that right now because confidence is breeding confidence. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Darren Waller, 43 yards. And the Raiders get a score closer.
For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Carlson now to add the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Chris Carson trotting back out there. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on. And that would be a little bit overwhelmed. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Now this throw caught left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one. And a first down. On first down, Wilson. And now he's closing in on 450 yards passing. That's an incredible number. I mean, you're talking about the best defenders in the world that you're trying to throw the ball against, and you're creating that type of a number. Fantastic job, fantastic performance. And he's going to have to ice up his arm afterwards, too. Now Wilson steps away to his left. He lets it flat, and this is taken in at the five. And all the way down to the five. It's a big play there for Seattle. 41 yards. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one. And they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. There's Wilson to throw. That's complete, right around the eight. That catch good for only a couple. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So put three on the board, but you know, from that far into enemy territory, probably hoping for more. Yeah, I think they're going to get together on the sideline talk about it, right? Because you get that far, that deep, you want to come away with a touchdown. They'll take the three, and they're going to file it away for the future. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. He was taken down Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down, Vegas as Carr finds Ruggs that time. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Carr now to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Carr completes it. Looks and now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Complete. Fumble on the play. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake at the ball and knock it free. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We sit in quarter number three out in Seattle. A second and ten now. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. It's third and seven. Now Wilson on third down. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Henry Ruggs and the Raiders set to go back to work. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. Second and 10 at the 40-yard line. On second down, here's Carr. Completes it to Aguilar. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Benson Mayoa on the third down. That's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Carr. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. For Darren Waller, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It was Trey Flowers that time who got a hand in and broke it up. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Tyler Lockett trotting onto the field, getting set for this next drive. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. 
How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route, or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. One yard game. Bring so both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now it's second and nine. Wilson after the play fake to Carson, escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it, and he'll get it up here this time to the 21. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. And at the 21 yard line. Push him back. Push him back. Play action. It's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Three yards the game there, second down. Gardner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. That one good for 26 and a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Midfield now. Here's Wilson. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Second and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Wilson now off the bootleg. And he comes back with one complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 11 yards there, first down. First and on that last catch, Charles, he tops the 150-yard mark. It's one thing when your wideout gets that. When your tight end gets it, it's quite another. We keep seeing the evolution of that position, don't we? Where we've seen where it's gone from strictly as a blocker to a guy who caught a few passes to now an integral part of the passing game, sometimes the primary receiver, because a lot of these guys have wide receiver skills, and we're seeing that on display here. Just think about the guys in the past looking back at this game and saying, sure wish that was me. I'd love to have gone out for those types of passes. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball. And right now, I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back and throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now it's Carson. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. 
A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This is obviously a critical sequence for this defense if they want to stay in this game. Down two scores already. They give up a touchdown here. That makes things really difficult for their offense moving forward. Makes the score Seahawks 46, Raiders 28. So with that, you figure uh, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? This is a touch cruel here. They've got the big lead. Now they're going for the jugular with the onside kick. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Onside kick is recovered by the Raiders. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Complete to a well-executed 22-yard gain. A gain of 22 yards. And the Raider first down. Carr now on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Intended and that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again, Carr. It's a screen to Richard, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Carr going to try and throw on third down. They'll swing this one out to Richard. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. First and goal Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's a completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Vincent Mayoa able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now this will be caught, Tyrell Williams. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Shotgun now for Carr. And that's going to be intercepted. Jamal Adams with it, the all-pro safety. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
Another solid game-changing play for this defense for the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. No! Big Dwayne Brown, the tackle, guilty there. Now Wilson. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the nine. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, Max Crosby picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. On the move to his left, and that is incomplete. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When we talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. Derek Carr getting ready to go again on offense. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. He'll throw from the gun. It's caught by Aguilar. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave them now with a third down situation. There on the tackle. It's a gain of four. Brings up third. On third down, Wilson. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. That's to his running back, complete. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Throwing on first down is Carr. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sank back at the 38. L.J. Collier. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. to go here on second down. 
From the gun, it's Carr. Drops this off to Richard. Give him seven on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. From the gun, Carr. And that will be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Hard to throw for it on fourth down. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth. Unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though? How about that D? Yeah, momentum swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. And if you're keeping an eye on the box score, that last run puts him over the 100-yard mark for the game. And this defense has just had all sorts of trouble trying to keep him under wraps, both passing and running. He'll find Ballore out of the backfield. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Carson. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brand, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Makes the score Seahawks 49, Raiders 28. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us, or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves, let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway, but a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great great about yourselves. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. 
Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown. Henry Ruggs. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down Daniel with this deficit. He might need there. to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. Oh, it's loose, and the Raiders have it. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Brings up now Carr after the incomplete pass. Brings him up second and ten. to throw again. Carr, he'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Operating from the gun, Carr. Got his man, it's Williams. And he's taken down inside the 30. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Throwing again. Carr. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Yards to go. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Tyrell Williams. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Carlson on for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by a Tyrell Williams touchdown. So a seven-point game, they'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered, they have. A tough one there, they certainly wanted that one, they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it, they still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right, they had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Wilson wants to throw it. Short throw to Disley. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now Wilson forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Throwing now is Wilson. Flush to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Wilson to throw. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. Flushed out right. And he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him two on the play. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Here's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. A five-yard pickup brings up fourth down and goal. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.